Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing a, another episode review. This is going to be for episode 7, I believe, right? 7 of season 1 of The Flash, uh, and it is called Power Outrage. So, yeah, um, before I begin, though, 10 seconds spoiler warning for those who have yet to actually watch the episode in hands already. Stop the video, go check it out, and then come back here and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds spoiler warning, as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair one, because as usual, I did. So begin, I, before I be uh, before I actually begin the review, though, I do want to say that, I um, do want to say that um, Walking Dead is ending today, so my last review for the, for, so the review for Coda is going to be up sometime tomorrow, mid-season final. Gotham um, went on its mid-season final, so that was last week, so no more reviews for Gotham. And Grace Point and Arrow didn't air an episode this week. Um, Grace Point because of Thanksgiving, and Arrow because it had to catch up with The Flash. Um, so yeah, so just, so yeah, and Scorpion is not going to have an episode, re um, it's not going to have an episode tomorrow, they're, they're not going to air one tomorrow, so there's not going to be re a review for Scorpion. So due to the fact that the TV shows are kind of going on and off now due to the mid-season finals, uh, TV scheduling reviews is going to be kind of weird. So yeah, for so for this week, there's no there's no Arrow or Grace Point, and for next week, there's no more Walking Dead. There's no more Walking Dead, and just for next week, Scorpion, um, and Gotham. So yeah, to so yeah, I'm gonna get more into that next week. Well, not next week. Um, later in the video, whatever. Quick synopsis, sex and dissection and in the rates. So, so yeah, um, yeah, basically in this episode you have the introduction of Farouk Gibran, who is, who is blackout. He, he has the powers to, you know, take electricity, take, uh, you know, take electricity and energy and siphon it to give him powers. Um, he's a metahuman, so yes. Um, you also have Clock King, who is from the Arrow TV show. You have Clock King in this episode, and he's basically taken hostage Eddie, Joe, Iris, and a few other officers. Um, and basically, what he wants is to be free. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start off with the Clock King stuff because that's really the, the subplot. And it's easier, a bit more easier to explain right now. Um, basically, he's taken hostage. He was uh, he was being transferred from prison to prison, but he had to make a stop at at what's it called central city right i forgot what's the central city i believe is where the flash is i'm pretty sure i'm wrong but whatever um may, i may be wrong but you know the city where the flash is he had to make a stop um he takes hostage somehow um which is pretty weird the way the, the way of events of how he take took hostage of everybody was kind of weird um but yeah overall was, it was that's a weird development in my opinion. Clocking was pretty weird in this episode, I have to admit. Um uh, I saw him in Arrow, the Arrow TV show. Um he was an okay character in my opinion. I do think they could have developed him a bit more in this episode. But whatever. Um where was I? So yeah, but he takes hostages of everybody. And now on the flip side you have Farouk Gibran who is blackout and basically he as I said before his ability is to siphon energy and electricity from the um, environments around him. And he managed to make the Flash slow. He took away the Flash's ability, abilities to run, basically. Um, so yeah, basically they had Tony Woodward, who was the guy who could turn into metal from the previous episode. You had him, um, him and Blackout duke it out. And it seems like he was able to kill Tony. Blackout killed Tony, so... Or Gerger, I believe is his another human name. So yeah, at the end of the episode, however... The Flash did regain his powers and was able to defeat and possibly kill Blackout. So yeah, um, I don't think that we're gonna. This is the last we've seen of Blackout, at least, I, or at least not his abil abilities, because Doctor Wells did at the end of the episode grab some of his blood. You know, he got a syringe, put his blood in it, and he says, "So now you're, so you're the one who's able to stop the Flash or something like that." It was really creepy, really cool. Uh, not the best episode in my opinion. It, this could have been improved in some aspects. Um, especially with the clock king stuff, I do think that could have been improved um a bit. Um because the actor I don't know who he is, 
but he 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 does good in the role. But I just don't think that Clock King is he's not well written. He's he's well written. I just don't think he's had enough development in my opinion. And those who and also uh for those who don't watch the Arrow but watch the Flash, you know they'll they'll be kind of be a bit confused as to who this guy is and why he's doing what he's doing. So yeah. So yeah, I mean overall it was a pretty good episode. had its had its ups, um, but it did have its downs. I mean like, the acting was good, the writing was good for the most part, but it just seemed a bit lackluster in some in some aspects. You know, some things just felt out of place, pacing wise just seemed off. And the clock king stuff could have been improved a bit more. So yeah, overall though it was a pretty decent, pretty not decent episode. It was a good episode, and yeah, power outrage. Um, we have two more episodes left in, like, two more episodes. Yeah, two, yeah, we have two more episodes for The Flash. So, yeah, that's basically it for now. For, except for the rate. On a rate, 1 to 10 will be the worst, 10 be the best, and 6 being decent. I give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. Could have been better in some aspects, but overall it was pretty good. And, yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if you're not resubscribed. Um, I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Um, for TV shows, so yeah, this week, Arrow and Grace Point, they didn't air an episode. Arrow didn't air, the, Arrow did not air an episode because they needed to catch up with The Flash because a couple weeks ago, Flash didn't air an episode due to, due to elections. So now they're kind of catching up with Flash. Um, and Grace Point, it didn't air an episode because of Thanksgiving, it, you know, it was, on a Thursday, both of them, so they decided not to air Grace Point. They decided to air things, get, um, air football, which makes sense, um, I guess. Um, so yeah, and also because of Thanksgiving, people would rather watch football, I, um, I guess, um, which is logical. So yeah, um, Gotham already had its mid-season final last Monday, so tomorrow, Monday, there's not going to be a, an episode of Gotham. Um, so I'm not going to be, so logically, I'm not doing a review for Gotham. So Gotham is not set to return till January, from what I know. So yeah, um, Walking Dead ends today. The mid-season final ends is today, Coda. So, which is the episode title, Coda. So Walking Dead, the last review of Walking Dead for the mid-season finale will be for tomorrow sometime. Sometime tomorrow, so, and it doesn't, it's not set to come back to like February, from what I know. Scorpion is not going to air an episode tomorrow, but I really don't know why. Even though it's got like two or three episodes left to air, they're going to be air airing that. The next episode of Scorpion is set to be on de December the 8th. So, yeah, for some reason they're not going to air an episode tomorrow. Don't know why. Um, and yeah, what else is that? You know, so that's Scorpion. So that means Z Nation and Constantine are the only ones who are, who are unaffected from what I know. Grace Point and Arrow will return this week, though. So, yeah. And so, I may, I may catch up on Constantine reviews this week. So, yeah. Sorry for running on. Um, just wanted to explain the, the whole TV show stuff. So, yeah. And expect within the next two or three weeks for a bit more movie reviews. Because the, since there are no more TV shows airing, I am going to be watching a bit more movies. So, yeah. That's basically it for now. Subscribe, comment, don't be going your thoughts on the episode. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Marks signing off.